Hello and welcome Warriors fans to Eastern Overtime, where we cover everything about Eastern Athletics. I'm Damon Gray. We start with women's lacrosse as the Warriors played a couple home games last week. On Wednesday, the Warriors hosted Rhode Island College in their first conference game of the year. The Warriors won the game 21-10 as they played consistently throughout. It was everything that head coach Christine Hutchison could want out of that game. I think it's really good for our team and our morale because we're struggling a little bit getting that final win. So I think today was a kind of a confidence booster and we didn't just come out here to get the W, we came out here to play well and I think we accomplished that too. That was the only thing that stood out as Meg Aramita ended up breaking the single game record in assists with a total of nine. I honestly, I, you know, we played against Hope in Florida and I had uh, six, I think, and uh, I was going for that eight or nine, and you know, as an assistant, you can't really do this without your teammates. Um, I rely on them to make the goals, and uh, I'm not gonna lie, I came out in the second half, and I just went to my teammates, I'm like, guys, I need you to make some goals for me, and they're like, yo, we got you. So, you know, I really just, I owe it all to my teammates. You know, they, they're the ones who put the finish on the ball, and uh, I might have nine, but I might go for 10 next time. Later in the week, Eastern hosted last year's LEC champs, Keene State. It was a heartbreaking loss for the Warriors as the Owls scored to take the lead with just 2.4 seconds remaining in regulation. Eastern fell 9-8, leaving them at 1-1 one one in conference play. The men's lax team hosted UMass Boston this past Saturday and they came away with the W. Tim Riley had his hand in the cookie jar as he led the team in goals by going top shelf four times against the Beacons. Some other standouts include Chris Barnett with three goals and Zach Thresher with three points. To softball we go as the Warriors swept all three doubleheaders last week. Eastern powered their way by Southern Maine Wednesday and UMass Boston on Saturday. Even more impressive, the Warriors ended up winning all but one game by at least eight runs. If it wasn't for the team's effort earlier in the week, the game may not have even happened. This weekend we worked really hard on getting all the snow off the field, so we shoveled and shoveled and shoveled. And so the kids were excited to play and they wanted to play, so we made it happen. And yeah, it's cold, but so what? This is softball season and we got to make the most of it. Sam Rossetti and Alyssa Hancock continue to stay hot as their averages are above 500 halfway through the season. Senior Shanna Martin has picked things up as she smashed a three-run home run to break a tie with the first game versus Southern Maine Wednesday. Also, senior Aaron Miller improved to 5-1 on the season with a 2.84 ERA. I think it's great having a great defense behind me. I think that's what's really helping me out on the mound. I can trust them behind me, and I know that if I miss a spot, they can get the ground ball or the pop-up. The baseball team started the week well, sweeping Plymouth State at home in New Hampshire, then defeating Endicott on their own field. However, once Wednesday came along, the baseball team here to hit a brick wall, losing four games in a row to Wesleyan, Salve Regina, and Southern Maine. With the two losses to Southern Maine, Eastern fell to 2-2 two and two in conference play. Those losses could really hurt their chances getting a high seed when the LEC playoffs come around. However, Andrew Scully has mashed the ball this season, hitting 400 with two home runs and 16 RBIs. After a tough week for men's and women's track team, the Warriors bounced back with a Good appearance at Dartmouth. Taylor Driggers helped the women's team, taking fifth out of 17 by coming second in the long jump. And Savannah Artis helped the Warriors in the point standings by coming in second in the triple jump. For the men, they took ninth place out of 17, and the Warriors took a first overall in the 4x400-meter relay with an overall time of 3 minutes and 37 seconds. Make sure you check out Marissa Miner's story on Jill Rytrowski and her role on the quick turnaround of the women's basketball program. That story can be found on GoWarriorAthletics.com. As we leave you with this week's schedule, we would like to congratulate Meg Aramita one last time for breaking the single season game record and assists with her outstanding performance against Rhode Island College last Tuesday. For everybody here at ETV Sports, thank you for watching. You can follow all the action on Twitter at ETV Athletics and through the hashtag GoEast. Have a great week, Warriors Nation. We will be back in just five days as this will be a current thing every Monday. Have a great week.